Now showing The Mandalorian at the MBX Films Theater, because we're going to open up this The Armorer from The Mandalorian uh, television show and the Star Wars Vintage Collection of figures. Uh, we'll open it up, talk about the character, and why we want to add it to our collection. And probably one of the main reasons is that they've released very little Mandalorian figures. So, kind of a lack of characters just kind of causing me to collect this one. But well, she, she was pretty awesome in the few episodes she was in, so probably responsible for one of the worst First, uh, maybe the most horrible deaths I've seen in Star Wars. <laughs> so let's open this up. Always hate to open up vintage collection packaging, but that's what we do here. We got some tongs. Yes, we have this tool, the hammer, and armor herself. Right away, this fur piece is a big kind of attached backpack piece. Not really sure it's meant to come off at all. But it isn't affecting the head movement, at least. You can really tilt back and not really affecting that. That's pretty interesting. Uh, but the arm movement is what's going to kind of hinder this. It's furry back. And then, of course, this kind of skirt style piece actually is softer than it looked in the packaging. So that might actually not affect movement too much. Uh, but to sit isn't going to work out very well because of it. But it is softer. Oh, that's right. You have to do the wacky... Uh, Let's just say they got some weird joints on these because of the size. So the smaller size, those sitting things you need to really be careful with. But actually, yeah, I thought we were going to get hindered a lot more from those pieces, but they're not too terrible. We have our armor tool, we have our kind of tongs, although I think that's probably meant to be held two-handed, the tong one. So let's try that. Yeah, so I mean, an armor maker, pretty unique uh, job type that we've not really seen in Star Wars. So there's kind of an awesome reason just to have her just for that. But uh, the quick fighting scene against like a st the stormtroopers. <laughs> uh, one gets tossed right into the kiln, the fire, and is just like melted to death. Probably like the worst death I've seen in Star Wars other than being eaten by creatures, but just depends on uh, your definition. They never talked about it in the show, but she does have these horns on her helmet, and I don't know if that's a normal Mandalorian thing, or if that is some leftovers from when Darth Maul actually kind of got involved in Mandalore history and took over the planet at one point, in a sense. And so there were troops that had the, uh, kind of his horn markings due to that. But I don't know if they had that style of helmet before that, or if this is kind of leftover, you know, remnants of Darth Maul's influence on the Mandalorian, uh, armor and culture and things. So vintage collection, uh, collectors didn't get the heavy Mandalorian guy from the earlier episodes, so we did get the armor at least, so definitely hoping going forward Mandalorian will get a lot more figures uh, in this size, because this is like kind of the original size for Star Wars figures. They are doing that kind of vintage style set, uh, not the vintage collection, but kind of the, the retro style, you know, kind of five points, but styled more like the 70s uh, older Star Wars figures they started when the original movies came out. But I'm going to be a lot more interested in getting the vintage collection ones that are a lot more detailed just to fit with my other figures like this. So the armor, maybe if there was a huge selection of Mandalorian figures I might have skipped. Uh, but because, you know, this is kind of a cool outfit, uh, not used a lot, but very cool scenes where she was making the armor for the main character and she was fighting off the troops with her armor making tools to take apart their uh, cheap stormtrooper armor. Uh, really interesting actually, but we only see her in that first season. I don't know if she will be making a comeback potentially. We'll see. But as far as the Mandalorian collection of figures here, happy to add her to the collection. Just overall just looks great all around with all the clothing pieces and belt, a good metallic sheen on the armor, and the helmet. Just not a real uh, fur like some of the other vintage collection figures got, like the Gamororian Guard and things like that. But still great. Great addition and hope to see a lot more Mandalorian figures because that is kind of what Star Wars has right now to look forward to is that show. Or just their general television show lineup uh, because there's not really films lining up very quickly. So here's to the future of Star Wars. I will not be making any armor for you. Sorry.